up, guys? Code Vlogs, Day 8, Episode 8, whatever it may be, Ancient Archer version 6. And uh, we're having some render issues as of right now. Everything's actually going pretty good overall. I just realized there were some critical errors in how I was using the graphic API of OpenGL. So I am analyzing what uh, options I should be taking next here. And I have been using RenderDoc and had discovered some pretty serious errors. And that's mainly what is holding this back at the moment. But that's that's fine. I'm going to rewrite the renderer. It's going to be a lot better. But as of right now, you, you see it, it kind of works. This is on the staging branch. So, uh, yeah, it all works fine. And this looks good. But as I change things, the issues have prepped up. So I'll, I'll capture a frame here, close this, and we're going to look at it in render doc real qu quick. But right off, we see down here at the bottom left, we have 366 issues. Basically because every object I'm drawing with OpenGL has some sort of index issue. Now, this uh, improper use was apparently hidden, and you couldn't really tell in previous versions. But now that I've done something... It has uh, now caused some issues. So I've got to reanalyze that. I've got some good sources. But in the meantime, I'm kind of benching this for a little bit and uh, considering my options, doing some studying, all that good stuff. Uh, I've been looking at Unreal Engine and playing around with Unreal Engine. So I have a lot of ideas for games and stuff. And I have one main one. Um, that I kind of want to work on first, and I have a secondary one that I also want to work on. This isn't an example of it right now, but uh, I've just been playing around in Unreal and getting used to it and seeing what my options are and those sort of things and getting used to how all the world settings work and how project settings work and just getting used to the lighting. It's so nice to have all the rendering done for you because I spend so much time faffing about, messing with rendering, and sometimes I just don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I just want to actually write the story I'm trying to write and start working on that. So uh, Unreal allows me to do that. I haven't really got to the story writing part or the full game. I'm still learning more, but it's been a really fun experience and a lot of, a lot of little tests going on and stuff at the moment. So this is just an example game of something well it's not even anything i'm just these are just random levels i made with obviously the default first person uh character shooting there but i'm learning to replace all the stuff and make my own and uh learning how the game modes work is pretty important and of course i actually want to get in and do some coding here with unreal but that's not too big of an issue so here's another little thing i was practicing you know, just some getting all animations figured out, stuff like that, and NPCs and things like that. This is just a guy I put in here, kind of walks around. This is just a big blank slate for testing things. But ideally, of course, I want to have a main character with... Uh, you, no, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to get into the details of what I'm theorizing. But I just wanted to show you that, hey, I'm in here kind of having fun. Oh, this is probably the coolest looking level because I spent the most time on it. I don't know if it really has a purpose. I just kind of was like, I'll just throw some stuff together and have some fun with it. And that's all this is really. Now, I guess I will give you the initial theory of what this game would be if it were how I actually wanted it. I turned the shooting sound off because they're super, super loud and annoying. But this is just another playground area to test things out. Ideally, wow, is this building way too big? I don't know, I guess it's about right size. Ideally, this game would be, I don't know if I want to say, if this video gets uh, 20 likes, I'll make a video about extended stay of the game and what I am thinking about it. Because I don't know if you guys actually want to hear me getting into that when you're just watching code vlogs, you know? But yeah, Unreal. It's uh, it's my kind of downtime side thing to do right now when I'm not working on the engine. And I'm really, really learning to 
enjoy it. These world settings still confuse me. I'm still trying to figure it out because I want I'm, I often want to have several game modes. So I'm like, how do you have several game modes? And I think I kind of figured it out, but I'm still not entirely sure because I was going to make like a survival system and just see if, what I could do with that. Uh, nothing too serious, just kind of testing things out. And I was like, okay, so this overrides a game mode. I don't know. There's a lot to learn. If you know any super great Unreal sources, I don't know. I've looked everywhere. I don't know if there are any. But yeah, tick interval. That's kind of cool to be able to control in a game mode. And then just uh, all this stuff. I need to figure out precisely what they do. It does tell you if you hover over them. So that helps. But it's not often entirely clear enough. But it does look like if I go to the full blueprint editor, I can do, well, this is the programming stuff. You have an event graph with a begin play and a tick. And you can add more event graphs, like event graph 2. And I think you just add functions to this. Uh, yeah, I've got it open here. Uh, event. So you can I add another tick? Yeah, I can add a tick here too. There we go. So I think you could do multiple things with your game mode like this, with just multiple graphs of things going on. Because if you're having time and considering how, I don't know, it depends on the game, of course. But if it's a survival game, which this could be, I don't know, still playing around with that. You obviously want to uh, keep track of how fast your food's going down so you can send updates like, hey, it's been a tick. How stressed has your character been? You know, and apply the appropriate things. So... I don't know if that's going to work right. Okay, what just happened? I think I just accidentally launched Ancient Archer again. But obviously Unreal is miles ahead of my little my little ghetto engine. But I love my little ghetto engine. It's It'll probably be really good at some point, but I'm not going to rush it. It's more about, this is more of a learning experience. More than anything at this point. But another great thing about Open G or, uh, Unreal and I started to say this and got sidetracked, is the source code is fully available. So you can go check out their stuff. And I've been looking through this. Uh, there's way too much to like unpack, but it's kind of cool to be like, okay, what's your runtime audio mixer from the files? They have a lot of stuff, a lot of work has been put into this engine. There's the, a lot of definitions and stuff for that. But it's pretty cool to, to just go in here well, cool to me. I don't know how cool it is to the average person. If I'm feeling bored or if I'm looking at something and wondering how they do it, it's just really nice to be able to jump in here and poke around. I don't know if I'm actually learning much, but because, well, it's so huge. There's just so much code that I don't even know what to look for if I want to look for a really specific thing. You know, it's that kind of thing. And even if I do know what to look for, how do I know what they've named it? How do I know where they've put it, because there seems to be a, just a lot of stuff. But you would think most of it's in source, but there is, there's like developer stuff, which I guess are developer tools. There's uh, the whole editor front end, which I guess just hooks up to other stuff uh, with the interface of the editor, I'm assuming. Programs, these are probably just like third party stuff. Uh, benchmark tool, image validator, yeah, slate viewer. So just like some little programs that are pre-compiled, I'm guessing. I'd have to look at those more. And then runtime. I assume this is what runs with your actual game or whatever you launch. And there's a lot of stuff here. There's engine. There's like render core, I think. And uh, I was trying to unpack some of this, but I, I didn't get very far. It, it will definitely take some time. You know, maybe that'll be a good stream. We'll do like a 12-hour uh, Unreal source code analysis marathon or something. Would you watch that? Well, that's uh, that's basically what I've been doing these past few days, and hope you enjoyed this episode of Code Vlogs. It's uh, I don't know if this is the direction that anyone expected, but I feel like it's what works for me right now. And yeah, I guess that's it. See you guys next time.